Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to save money as a college student. For many of you, when you go away to college for the first time, it might be overwhelming and it might be the first time that you're living on a certain set budget. It might be the first time that you're in charge of your own finances and all of that can feel overwhelming. But I'm here to help you with some money saving tips. Please remember to hit like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you these helpful videos and share them with people who also might find them useful. The first tip I have is to consider buying used textbooks instead of new textbooks. It might take a little bit more effort on your part, but the savings can be considerable. You should also look into textbook subscriptions like Cengage Unlimited, which is like having Netflix for textbooks. You pay a subscription price for the semester or for the whole year, and then you have access to a whole library of textbooks. So that is something that might make sense for you and could save you a lot of money. Tip number two, if you can hold off on buying certain items until you get to school, get settled in and see if you actually need it, you can save yourself a lot of money. Sometimes students will say, oh, well, you know, my roommate had that, so I didn't end up buying one. Or, you know, we had two and I wish we had communicated, you know, so one of us didn't, didn't buy, you know, the item or whatever. Or you might, not need as actu you might not need as much of the item as you actually thought that you would. So if you can hold off on buying certain things, definitely you want to be prepared. But if you can hold off on buying everything until you actually get settled into college, you might find that you don't need certain items. Tip number three, find cheaper places to have your daily coffee, your daily drink, you know, or make it yourself. Buy a coffee maker and make it yourself. That's a, a big, one of my favorite hacks is on my curry coffee maker. I use every one of those pods twice and it tastes slightly less strong, but then I just combine it into a bigger mug. And honestly, it just saves a lot of money. So consider buying yourself a coffee maker, making your own coffee. Motivate yourself by thinking of how much money you're saving, you know, not, you know, going to Starbucks or whatever daily, weekly. And then tip number four, eat in more often instead of going out to eat. Or if you're on the meal plan, consider reducing the number of meals on your meal plan. Again, you might not be able to know how to finesse that until you've been at your college for a semester and see actually, you know, wait a minute, I'm ordering pizza, you know, one night a week or whatever. So I really don't need all these meals or something. So what's your favorite money saving idea? Leave a comment below and let me know what money saving hacks you've adopted. Please remember to hit subscribe so I can continue to bring you these helpful videos. Good luck to everyone. I hope this helps you save money and I have part two coming out as well. If there's a topic you'd like to see me make a video on, please leave that in the comments and remember to keep learning.